here at the Temples of Angkor, one of the world's most spectacular archaeological sites. It's in the jungles of northern Cambodia near Siem Reap and it's a collection of hundreds of temples which represent the sacred skeleton of what was once the mighty Khmer Empire. It really is spectacular. I mean, there's no other place on earth that I've been to that has this sheer concentration of riches and wealth. Incredibly, the temples of Angkor have been picked as number one among travel professionals, so they canvass travel writers and even Lonely Planet authors. Really, it's a collection of the 500 most important sites in the world, and when they compiled all the votes, at the end of the day, Angkor was number one with a resounding landslide victory. When it comes to Cambodia, what makes it unique? I think partly it's the people. Cambodian people are very warm. I mean, everybody knows the history and the Khmer Rouge, the genocide, civil war. Cambodia's had a very, very tragic contemporary history, yet the people that you meet when you come here, they're warm, they embrace you. It's something that people take away from Cambodia and their experience of interacting with the people. So we're here at the upper level of the Bayon and we're watching some Apsara dancers. We've seen the Apsaras all over the temples, these beautiful heavenly maidens. And now we're actually watching them. This is a tradition that's gone on since the time of Angkor. These are the living embodiment of sort of Angkor heritage. I suppose the most important thing to stress about Angkor is the embarrassment of riches. This is not just one site, it's so many sites. You think of one place in the world, it's normally one iconic building. Here we have Angkor Wat, the mothership. This is the most important temple here. However, look how many more there are. You have Angkor Thom, the great walled capital with the Bayon, the famous face temple. You have Ta Prom, the jungle temple. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. So when you put all these temples together and bring them as one destination, that's incredible. Individually, most of them might stand up, possibly making the top 10. Angkor Wat's a contender for the top 10 on its own. The Bayon's a contender for the top 10 on its own. Even Ta Prom is a contender for the top 10 on its own. Put them all together, there's no debate, it's number one.